If you're looking to break into DevOps or want to level up your skills, you're in the right place. Today, I'm sharing the complete DevOps roadmap. I'll walk you through the essential skills you need, the tools I personally recommend, and how much time you should spend on each. Assuming you dedicate three to five hours of studying every day, this roadmap should take you about 10 to 14 months to complete. Let's jump right in. First up, we have Linux fundamentals. Linux is the backbone of servers and development environments. As a DevOps engineer, you'll be setting up and maintaining the infrastructure where applications run. Most servers use Linux, so getting comfortable with it, especially the command line, is crucial. I recommend starting with learning Bash, which is the most commonly used shell and scripting language in Linux. Spend about two to three weeks on this. Make sure to learn basic Linux commands for working with the file system, permissions and ownership, processes and signals, as well as managing packages. Next, you need to learn networking concepts. Networking is all about how computers communicate with each other. Think IP addresses and protocols. You need to understand how data moves around, secure it and troubleshoot network issues. To get hands-on experience, I recommend using Wireshark. Dedicate around two weeks on this. Make sure to learn concepts like OSI and TCP IP models, IP addressing and subnetting, DNS and DHCP, networking protocols like HTTP, HTTPS, FTP and SSH, firewalls and security groups, and basic network troubleshooting using tools like Ping, Traceroute, and Netstat. Now let's talk about Git. Git is a version control system that lets you track changes in your code and collaborate with others. It's essential for working on projects with a team and managing your code effectively. Spend one to two weeks getting comfortable with Git. Make sure to learn basic Git commands like clone, commit, push and pull, branching and merging, resolving merge conflicts, working with remote repositories and so on. After that, you should dive into programming languages. Programming languages like Python, Ruby, and Go are used to automate tasks and manage configurations. While there are several other languages, I personally recommend Python for its simplicity, powerful libraries, and versatility. Dedicate four to six weeks to build a solid foundation in Python. Make sure to learn Python syntax and data structures like lists, dictionaries, sets and tuples, modules and packages. Learn how to write and execute Python scripts, work with files, handle errors, write automation scripts, and so on. By the way, to help you on this journey, I've created a free supplementary PDF that breaks down the specific concepts you need to learn for each skill. It's a great resource to review your progress, find gaps in your knowledge, and prepare for interviews. You can find the link in the description box. Also, I have a bunch of tutorials on this channel and complete courses on my website if you're looking for structured learning. Again, links are in the description box. Moving on, let's talk about cloud providers. Cloud providers like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform offer a range of services for building and deploying applications. If you're just starting out, I recommend focusing on one cloud provider and AWS is a great choice because it's the most widely used. Spend about four to six weeks on this. Make sure to learn how to launch, configure, and manage virtual servers, store and manage data, get familiar with managing users, groups, and roles, and how to set up and manage isolated networks. Next up is containerization. Containerization is all about packaging an application and its dependencies into a container to ensure it runs the same everywhere. Docker is the go-to tool for this. Spend about three to four weeks getting comfortable with Docker. Learn how to create Docker images. Get familiar with starting, stopping, and managing containers. Learn how to write Docker files. Explore how to define and run multi-container applications using Docker Compose and so on. Now let's dive into continuous integration and deployment or CICD. CICD automates the integration and deployment of code changes, allowing for frequent and reliable releases. Jenkins is a powerful tool for setting up CI-CD pipelines, but other popular tools include GitLab CI-CD, CircleCI, and Travis CI. If you're starting out, just focus on Jenkins for its versatility and strong community support. Dedicate three to four weeks on this. Make sure to understand how to create and manage Jenkins pipelines, get familiar with writing Jenkins files, learn how to integrate automated tests into your pipelines, understand how to automate the build process for your applications, explore how to automate the deployment of your applications to various environments and so on. Moving forward, let's discuss orchestration and management. Orchestration tools like Kubernetes and Helm 
help automate the deployment, scaling, and management of containerized applications. These tools are essential for managing complex applications in production. Start with Kubernetes and spend about four to six weeks on it. Make sure to learn about the overall architecture, including the master node and worker nodes and how they interact. Understand the key components such as pods, services, and deployments. Get familiar with managing resources. Learn how to scale your applications as well as the networking model in Kubernetes. Next, we have networking and infrastructure services. This involves setting up and managing services like reverse proxies, forward proxies, caching servers, firewalls, and load balancers. I recommend using Nginx for handling reverse proxies and load balancing. Give this about three to four weeks of your time. Learn how to set up and configure Nginx as a reverse proxy. Understand how to configure it to act as a forward proxy. Explore caching strategies to improve the performance and how to configure firewalls and security groups. Now let's talk about configuration management. Configuration management tools like Ansible, Puppet, and Chef automate the deployment, configuration, and management of servers and applications. If you're starting out, just focus on Ansible due to its simplicity and powerful features. Spend three to four weeks on this. Learn how to write Ansible playbooks, understand how to use roles and modules, learn to manage variables and templates and so on. Moving on, let's discuss infrastructure as code or IAC. IAC involves managing and provisioning computing infrastructure through machine-readable configuration files. Popular tools include Terraform, AWS CloudFormation, and Pulumi. If you're starting out, just focus on Terraform for its flexibility and widespread use. Dedicate three to four weeks to build a solid foundation in Terraform. Understand the basic concepts like providers and resources. Get familiar with writing Terraform configuration files. Learn how to use Terraform modules, as well as advanced concepts such as workspaces and remote state. Finally, let's talk about monitoring and logging. Monitoring and logging tools such as Prometheus, Grafana, ELK Stack, and FluentD track the performance and health of your applications and infrastructure. If you're starting out, just focus on Prometheus and Grafana. Spend about three to four weeks on these tools. Learn the architecture and data model of Prometheus. Get familiar with collecting metrics from various sources. Learn how to write queries to extract and analyze metrics data. Understand how to set up alerts and so on. So if you dedicate three to five hours every day, you can follow this roadmap and pick up all the skills you need to become a DevOps engineer in about 10 to 14 months. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer you right here or in my future videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more useful content. Thanks for watching.